12 bizarre animal hybrids. The Liger. Does this drawing look familiar? In the famous film Napoleon Dynamite, main character Napoleon once said this of his Liger creation. It's pretty much my favorite animal. It's like a lion and a tiger mixed, bred for its skills and magic. This line was meant as a joke, but we had no idea that this crazy cat actually exists. This feline combination is most certainly magic to our eyes. This brawny breed of felines is the biggest on the planet. P.S. There are also tigons too. They consist of male tigers bred with female lions. The Jag Lion Imagine an animal with the boldness of a lion with the speed of a jaguar, and you've got yourself a Jag Lion. With a smooth black coat and beautiful jaguar markings, we feel like the Jag Lion is probably the coolest cat in all of the animal kingdom. This picture here was taken at the Bear Creek Exotic Wildlife Sanctuary in Canada. The Jag Lion gets his DNA from a jaguar father and a lion mother. Can you imagine a Jag Lion family road trip? The Jaguar dad would probably drive too fast and the mother would roar at him slow down with the boldest lion roar. This is all hypothetical, but we just wonder what the scenario would be like. The Geep A Geep is a cross between a goat and a sheep, and is coincidentally the absolute cutest thing we have ever laid our eyes on. Although it's extremely rare that Jeeps will make it full term in pregnancy, there are a mythical few amount of Geeps that do walk the earth. From a genetic standpoint, breeding a sheep and a goat is extremely unlikely. They are in two completely different genius groups and therefore have a different number of chromosomes. This now internet famous geek, Butterfly, was a huge hit at the My Petting Zoo LLC in Arizona. Come on Butterfly, you don't even have to try, we'll cuddle you forever. The Growler Bear A Growler Bear, otherwise known as the Prisley, is a hybrid cross between a polar bear and a brown bear. It's hard to believe that a polar bear and a brown bear would even be able to meet one another based on their geographical locations alone. Maybe they met on the internet and carried on a long distance relationship. It turns out that the Prisley could just be an extreme rare occurrence. In 2006, Jim Martell accidentally came across a Grola bear on a hunting trip near Saks Harbor on Banks Island. Only a few have ever been discovered. However, new studies have found that the Prisley bear population is greatly growing in size thanks to global warming. We think that this polar plus grizzly combination is really unbelievable. The Koi Wolf If you just can't choose between a wolf or a coyote, then there's good news for you. The Koi Wolf exists. To be honest, we've never truly understood the difference in coyotes and wolves until now. However, the hybrid creation of the Koi Wolf, or Woyote, actually may be the result of environmental changes, deforestation, and growing overpopulation. Wolverines have long required a vast amount of land to survive due to the fact that they live off of hunting and feeding on large game animals. The coyote, however, has successfully adapted to the life within civilized areas due to techniques like scavenging. These canis creatures exhibit similar behaviors like running in packs and presumably howling at the moon. Just kidding, no moon howling. These cute koi wolves certainly seem happy to have their koi wolf homies. The Savannah Cat are you more of a cat person and have exotic tastes? If so, you may want to look into adding a savannah cat to your family home. Yup, these pretty kitties are actually hybrids of domesticated cats bred with severals, a species of an African wild cat. This cat breed is relatively new to the scene, as it was officially accepted into the registry of the International Cat Association in 2001. What's even cooler about these cats is that they don't act like cats. Sorry cat lovers. But seriously, most people say that savannah cats exhibit traits more similar to that of a dog thanks to its lovable and social personality. They're typically not as skittish as a normal cat, and they don't even fear water. Some savannah cats have even been trained to play fetch and walk on leash. Could these perfect creatures be any more amazing? Sort of, because they're pretty expensive to get a hold of. Some generations can cost anywhere from $1,500 to $16,000. Walsons well, we'll say Walthin in the singular tense because apparently only one exists in captivity. Talk about big fish in a small pond. Not only are Walthins lucky to even exist from a genetic standpoint, they surpass all typical laws of nature. For instance, a false killer whale is still an extremely dangerous predator, while the dolphin is known for being friendly and non-threatening. Keikimalu, a true Walthin, gave birth to her calf Kowali Kai at the seed park in Hawaii in 2004. 
She was born to her dolphin mother, Panaheli, and her father, a killer whale, Tanuhehai. This photo of Koali Kai was taken in 2005. You're one of a kind, Koali Kai. Heine. While we've definitely heard of a mule, which is a cross between a male donkey and a female horse, we've had no idea about the Heine, a hybrid cross of a female donkey and a male horse. In some weird way, we're feeling a lot of girl power about this breed. Why do mules get all the attention when there is an equally as cute and genetically autonomous hybrid breed? Well, this Heine honey seems to have a shaky reputation. Allegedly, Heinies are criticized for their size and inability to breed. Pictured here is Pearly May, part miniature horse and part donkey. We believe she has what it takes to make the Heine as popular as the mule. The Camo Can you imagine a creature with the cuddly coat of a llama, but with the skeletal structure of a camel? Presto, you have yourself a camel. We can only imagine how much better of a world we would have if there were more camas to look at. Unfortunately, llamas and camels aren't exactly star crossover lovers. The first camel was conceived at the Camel Reproduction Center in Dubai in 1998 using artificial insemination techniques. We're even more sad that only five camas have ever existed. Look at this adorable camel not even realizing how adorable he's been. And yes, for all of you language masters out there, Kama also means bed in Spanish. The Lepon Wow, now here's a crazy creature, the Lepon. Side note, this is not to be confused with the internet sensation Lele Pons. These half leopard, half lion hybrids do not exist in the wild and have been only bred in captivity. Surprisingly, these felines have been around for over a century. The first Lepon was bred all the way back in 1911, and zoos all over the country have been breeding them ever since. And get this, Lepons have also been bred with Ligars, which are hybrids between a male lion and a female jaguar. So that would make their babies Leo Ligars. Ah, uh, leopards, jaguars, lions, jaguars, lions. So many jungle cats, so little time. This Lepon looks confused as we are. The Millard. After all the mammals we've seen thus far, we are so pleasantly surprised to present you with this wacky bird, the Millard, which is a cross between a mallard and a Muscovy duck. Like most hybrids, the Millard was produced for a reason and is not able to reproduce itself. While foie gras is typically made of geese, the Mullard is a much more affordable option for food production companies to maintain. If you're feeling fancy and think that this bird seems pretty tasty, hop on over to France. This dish is a specialty and is referred to as Margrette. Quack quack, this hybrid duck is whack. The Zebroid This Zebroid is half zebra, half donkey, and a whole bunch of fun. There are a few different subgenres of Zebroid out in the world. From a Zorse, which is a zebra stallion and a horse mare, a Zoni, which is a breed between a stallion zebra and a miniature pony, and many other kooky terms like a Zadonk, a Zabronki, and a Zonki. Even though these hybrids are typically sterile and therefore very rare to breed, it seems that these crazy half-breeds haven't had any troubles making their way into the spotlight. Zebroids have appeared in many popular TV shows and films, such as Viva La Bam and Racing Stripes. So what's something you learned today that you didn't already know? Let us know down in the comments section below, and while you're there, don't forget to subscribe to see more awesome videos just like this.